What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acres Scuba and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Hit this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys are going to be notified every time we upload new content. Now I'm very excited about today's video and the fact that I've got the brand new Ocean Reef Vector Light or their brand new Visor Light. And this is actually going to replace the Visor Light that they've had in the past and it's actually got a lot of improvements and upgrades compared to the previous visor light. Now I do want to state this video is sponsored by Ocean Reef and the fact that they sent me the light, but I did tell them over the email that I'm not going to hold back on this light. If I like it, I'm going to tell you guys that I like it, and if I don't, I'm going to tell you everything that I don't like about it as well. But from the testing I've already did, I'm pretty excited to say that I've really enjoyed this light. So we're going to take it back here in the back. I'm actually going to show you everything that comes in the box. I'm going to show you how easy it is to install, which was one of the biggest pet peeves I had with a previous visor light from Ocean Reef. And that was always a reason that I use external light sources versus, say, the visor lights from Ocean Reef. But this new vector light, it takes the cake. This thing is super easy to install, super easy to use, and so far I've really enjoyed it. So let's go back in the back, do an open box for you, show you how to install it, and then I'm going to take you underwater and show you just how well this light's going to work. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open the box real quick and just see what all comes with the Vesper light. It's just a basic cardboard box, nothing fancy here. Um, go ahead and open it up, and we can see the very first thing we come to, of course, is the Vesper light itself. And man, let me tell you, this thing is super, super lightweight. So we'll go ahead and set it aside. We're going to see what else is in the box here. Looks like we have the housing. So if you want to wear it as a headlamp, you can do that as well. So we've got the housing here. Looks like we've got a charging cable. We are going to have a band of some type. Uh, I believe this is the hand band that's going to help activate the light. If you're wearing it say with uh, darker colored gloves something like that and then we've also got another band here which is what's going to go with the mount system or the little carrier here if you're going to be wearing it as a headlight so we'll be definitely checking that out too and seeing just how easy it is to operate and then we got some paperwork here it looks like a little warning here and of course we got the owner's manual so we're going to read through the owner's manual and find out all we can about the light and then we'll get it put together and show you just how easy it is to use so we'll go ahead and start with the light itself. It's a very lightweight unit, man. I'm telling you, this guy don't weigh absolutely anything at all. Let's look at some of the features here. Looks like we have an activation button. This is where we're going to turn it on and off and change the mode of it as well. We got a little charge port here. The charge port is a waterproof port. So that's kind of how you charge it there. And you just put your little cap back in, which makes it waterproof as well. Um, we got this little groove. This groove is how you mount it to the full face mask. And we're going to be mounting it on several different uh, models of Ocean Reef full face mask as well. But turning it over, we will see that we've got three LED heads here. And then we've got our little activation switch. And this is where you actually turn the light on and off when you're using it. So basically, the operation is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to press down here on this button for a couple of seconds. And you'll see the light flashes. That means it's activated, it is ready to go, and then to simply turn it on, simply swipe your finger or part of your hand over the sensor, and the light's going to come on real simple. Now, it does have an SOS mode built in. All you've got to do is just press and hold for about five seconds, and it will automatically go into that SOS mode. And, of course, it will scroll through doing the blinks that it needs to do. To come out of SOS mode, you simply just put your finger back over it, and it's back in normal on and off mode. So I can turn it on, turn it off. And in the event that you've got really thick gloves or darker color gloves where it's got to have some type of um, white surface to activate, that's what that band was for. So you can wear this over your gloves, just like so. And then all you got to do is just wave it in front of it, and it's going to turn it on and off. So this is a really neat feature that uh, Ocean Reef has included in there. So I really like that. But it's a real simple uh, device, easy to use as far as how you operate it. To turn it off, we're just going to press and hold this button here again in the back. It should blink for us to let us know that that mode's off. Now it doesn't matter how many times you try to turn it on to activate it. Since the unit's turned off, you're not going to be able to activate it. So I like that little feature too. You can actually turn it on and off and that way you don't run your battery down. But let's go ahead and see how easy it is to get this guy installed. I've got a new Neptune 3 and I've got my personal space mask and we're going to see just how easy it is to install on both masks. 
All right, guys, so installation of this is super simple to do. And I've got two different models here. I've got my personal space model here, and I've also got one of the new Ocean Reef Neptune 3s. And I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install. It doesn't matter which model you've got, whether it's a G-Divers, a Space Series, an Iron Mask, a Predator, or even the Neptune 3s. They're all going to mount the same way. Now, prior to filming this, I was doing a little experimentation with it um, tr to try to get the best angles for the camera. And unfortunately, it's kind of difficult to show you an installation of this on camera without disassembling the mask and kind of showing you that way so what I've actually done to make it a little bit easier for you guys is I've got a spare skirt and I actually use two skirts with my full face mask so I have one that I wear if I'm in a hood I've got one that I wear when I don't wear a hood and this is the small medium so when I'm not wearing a hood I simply put this one on it tends to fit my face a little bit better and it's going to make it a lot easier for us to show you the installation of the Vesper itself so on the internal part of the skirt there's two little lips that we want to look at we have our external lip here where my thumb is and then the top part internally here this internal lip is what is going to actually attach the vesper to the skirt itself and on the back of the vesper there's this groove here and all you've got to do is just insert it to where it grabs onto that internal part of that lip there and it locks it into place now it's a little flimsy here but that's just because i've got the skirt off of the mask once you have it installed on the mask it's going to be locked in and it's actually going to be uh, a little bit of a compression fit here at the top of the visor as well so it's definitely not going to come out unless you want it to come out but if you do want it to come out it's a very simple process you just simply pull it off so an internal view would kind of look like this you would stick it inside the skirt you would line it up slide it into that groove just like that if you ever need to remove it you simply reach through the skirt grab it and you can simply pull it out just like that. So let's go ahead and get it installed on both of these models and see just how easy it is to use. All right, so now that we've got it installed in the Neptune 3, um, a couple of things that I noticed, it is very low profile. Um, it does not affect your peripheral vision in any way because this top part you, you can't actually see through anyways because of the groove of that skirt. So it's out of sight, out of mind. Uh, there's really no nothing that can really get in the way of this light. And if we look real quick at my space mask, once again, this is my personal space mask here. You know, I've had a slew of different lights mounted to it over the years. And my current light configuration is the Comfort Zone Scuba Land and Sea. And it's this big bulky light system. And yes, it'll really reach out there. But unfortunately, sometimes it can be a little too powerful. And if I'm looking at my buddy, it can blind them as well. So with the new vesper the cool thing is it's out of sight out of mind when i need it it's very easy to turn on very easy to turn off and it's not getting in the way of anything so i'm gonna go ahead and press the button back here get it activated and then we will be able to show you just how easy it is to operate so i'm gonna go ahead and hold the button down there for a couple seconds perfect now the light is ready it's actually turned on and it's ready to be activated all i've got to do is put my finger over the sensor Put my finger over the sensor again. It simply comes on, comes off. If I need to go to SOS mode, I simply put my finger over it, hold it for a few seconds, and then, of course, after about five seconds, it'll simply go into SS mode or SOS mode, and then I can simply take it out of that by just simply tapping it and rubbing my finger across it. So I really, really like that light. And like I said, it does come with that white band, so if you're wearing gloves, all you got to do is just slide that white band over it, and it's going to turn it on and off very simply once again you can hold it on there for about five seconds it too will send it into sos mode and then to cancel ss or sos mode you simply just take the band go back over so it's a very simple easy light to use i'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the neptune 3 and put it in the space mask and see what it looks like on it all right so now as you can see i've got it actually mounted to the space mask here and like i said it's out of sight out of mine um, it's not going to mess with my peripheral vision in any way and it's not really going to create an entanglement hazard a lot of you guys know i love the comfort zone scuba lights and currently i'm using the land and sea model as the light for my full face mask but that can create quite a bit of an entanglement hazard let alone the camera that i mount up top and everything else with this light being internally mounted there's no entanglement hazard with it and just like on the neptune 3 it's very easy to activate you simply just wave your finger over it it comes on if you want to turn it off wave your finger again and it simply turns off if you need to use the band for it because you're wearing some type of darker colored glove simply wave the band in it it's going to turn it on and off as well and then once again if you need to switch to sos mode simply hold your finger on it for about five seconds 
it will immediately go into SOS mode. That way you can signal for help, signal to your buddy, or, you know, for whatever reason you need it, and then turn it off. You simply wave your finger there as well. So this is going to fit anything from the G-Diver series all the way up to the professional line, even the Iron Mask, or even the Neptune 3. And then if you do need to remove it from the mask, it's very simple. You just simply reach up in, get a hold of the light, and pull it away from the skirt just like so and you've simply removed it now we're going to go ahead and take this light and install it in the headband system and see just how easy it is to use all right guys so now we're going to go ahead and install it into the headband system or the little housing that comes with it because like i said this light's very versatile you can use it below water or you can use it above water as well and there's actually two pieces to it. So this is going to be the front of the housing here. And then the back of it just simply snaps on once you get the light in. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and install the band itself. It comes with another little band here. Um, this is the headband part. And it's pretty easy to install. All you got to do is just simply stick the band through one side, pull it through, and then you're going to stick the band back through the other side, continue to pull it through, and it's even going to give you an adjustment. Now, the band is elastic. Um, I did try this a little bit earlier, and I noticed that it's actually pretty snug on my face, so you do not want to tighten this up that much. But to install it, it's pretty simple. We just take the light. I'm going to put it into the front side of the housing first here. You can see I can still get to the sensor, and the lights are still going to show. And then on the back, I'm just going to simply take the back of the housing. I'm going to get it lined up and snap it in just like that and we have essentially installed the light in the headband housing here so i'm gonna go ahead and get the the light turned on itself get it ready to activate and then anytime i need it simply hit the button or wave my hand in front of the sensor wave my finger again simply goes off and just like when it was in the mask if i need to go to sos mode i can simply go into sos mode very simply and then wave it once again to turn it off and the band works too and i'm not sure why you'd want the band maybe you're diving in the winter time you get out of the water you still got thick gloves on you can still use the band very simple just like that so let's put this on let's see what it looks like all right guys so we're going to test out the headlamp real quick and then i'm going to take you out the water we're going to be diving in some clear water and some murky water to see just how well this light works well, let's see how well it works as a headlamp Simply put the band around your head, you're going to get it lined up. Now I'm going to turn the light off in here real quick so it's going to get super, super dark. But as soon as I turn the light on, we can see I've basically got a headlamp here. And the cool thing is, is no matter where I look, I'm going to see what I can see, what the light's going to light up. I do notice that it's more of a, more of a flood light than it is a spotlight. But if you're using your full face mask as, say, a search and recovery device or something for search and recovery work, it's really going to be handy because you can sit there and use it and see what's directly in front of you instead of just simply punching out there into the darkness. All right, guys, so now we're going to get into the part of the video I know every single one of you want to see, and this is how does that light work in a realistic scenario. And if you know much about our channel, you know we're not into all the flashy, flashy, really good video here. We want to show you exactly what we see when we're underwater. So we're going to test this light in some of the most turbid waters we've ever been in, such as our lake here. Now, as we swim along, I'm going to show you very easily how it is to, or how easy it is to activate the light. Simply wait your hand directly in front of the sensor and the light comes on of course we can go into SOS mode if we need to but to turn it off we simply just put our hand back up in front of the sensor and the light will go off as well now I am going to compare this light to one of my favorite lights which is the land and sea from comfort zone scuba and that's a thousand loom light as you can see here it's got a very strong beam it really cuts out but as we start to get in some of that turbidity there it's going to white out. It's going to actually blind me. It's going to kick back and reflect back in my eyes. But as I turn it off and I go over to the Vesper light, you can see I don't have that kickback. Now, one of the reasons is the Vesper light is only 30 looms. And it doesn't sound like it's a, a really powerful light, and it's not. But because it's not, it's really going to shine through in very turbid waters. Here's another great example. This is one of the street signs we got here in the lake. And as you can see, my thousand loom flashlight is just kicking right back in my face. It's just reflecting back. It's, it's causing everything to kind of white out. But I'm going to turn it off and just use the 30 loom Vesper and look how crystal clear it almost become, even in very turbid waters. Once again, if you are diving in limited visibility, you don't need that 
big powerful dive light the lower the lumens the better actually and that's kind of why the thousand was always our threshold there but once again when you got a big powerful light turbid waters is not going to be your best friend the vesper shines through because it's only 30 lumens now i will state this the 30 lumen vesper light is not meant to be a primary light it's meant to be as a backup light we're going to start using it as a search light and just an all-around good work light because it's going to be able to show you what's directly in front of you you're not going to be able to reach out and touch something but if you're searching working underwater things like that then it's going to be absolutely great for you so there you go guys, that's the new Vesper light from Ocean Reef. Like I said, I'm very, very excited that Ocean Reef has released this. It's very, very inexpensive compared to their previous visor light. And if you're trying to buy a bunch of mounts for your extender frame, this is gonna be the light to go with because you don't have to worry about screwing up your extender frame or mounting a bunch of lights. It's gonna take a lot of batteries. The rechargeable part of this is super simple to do. The fact that you can use it above water or below water and it's a simple installation, you can simply just stick it in and pull it out whenever you need it. I'm gonna give this guy a 10 out of 10 and that's not because we're being sponsored by this video. This is because I think this is one of the most superior products that Ocean Reef has made for their mass systems. So definitely check out the Vesper Light if you're interested in your own. There'll be a link down below where you can click on that link and actually purchase your own as well. But guys, check out the Vesper Light. It doesn't matter the model you've got, whether it's a G-Divers, a Space, a Predator, an Iron Mask, or the all new Neptune 3, the Vesper Light will fit that mask and it's so simple to use. And in my opinion, if you're in a full face mask, it's definitely a must for you as well. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube, and as always guys, we appreciate your business.